Hi guys, I'm Heath Manning of Manning Cues. This video I'm going to just be demonstrating a little bit of spin control when your cue ball hits the rail. Um, the first shot I'm going to work on is reverse spin. Um, what I mean by re reverse spin is when your cue ball is going into a rail, the natural travel is the direction that it's going to rebound off if there was no spin. If you put the reverse English on your cue ball, it actually grips the rail and comes back straighter. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. And these shots do come up in lead quite a bit. And knowing how to shoot them will definitely pay off. If you're looking at the table right now, I've got a cue ball, which is an elephant ball, uh, just so you can see the spin on the ball. And I've got my object ball. Okay, This is just a training set so you guys can see uh, what's happening with the balls. This is an object ball blocking me from just my regular shot. A masse is available. A three bank is available, right? And the one bank is available. But what happens when the natural um, kicks are not available? So let's just say we put some balls on the table. Let's take away my natural one rail. Let's also take away my natural three rails. Okay? Now I don't have a shot. Now I have to make a shot, either make a great masse shot or I have to know how to use spin off the rail. So I have two options. I can either, if this is my natural line to kick that ball in, I can either move to the right or to the left. For this shot, I'm going to move to the left. So I can move a half diamond or a half segment, or I can move one full diamond or one full segment, however you want to look at it. Say I'm going to just go right over to the first diamond to the left. If I move one diamond to the left, right here, where the chalk is, my cue ball naturally, I'll shoot it for you now, watch where my cue ball goes. My cue ball naturally goes right over in this location. Okay, but we don't want that. We want my cue ball to come back here and pop the ball. So, what we're going to do is if I am shooting at the chalk, which is, this is my natural, remember? This is my natural line, just to kick it. If I'm going to move one segment or diamond to the left, I need to add one tip of right English to the cue ball. So whenever you're using right spin, and you're going the length of the table, you're going to have to compensate one tip of spin for every diamond or segment that you move over, using reverse spin. So, let's shoot that for you now. I'm going to aim right at that chalk. I'm going to be just above center on the cue ball, so the cue ball is rolling ahead naturally. And I'm going to put right spin on my cue ball. I'm going to use a regular stroke, or just a little bit harder than a regular stroke, so I make sure that cue ball digs right into the rail and takes that reverse spin. And I come down, and I make my shot. Now, the same would apply if you decide to have another blocked ball up there. Say that we had another ball that was blocking us here. Okay? If we don't go to the left of the natural, which would be here, it's still available to go between the balls. And if we go between the balls at a half a diamond between them, uh, from the natural, from here's your natural, and here's the shot we just shot. If we go here, then that would only be a half of tip of right English. But for the next shot, let's just say that this is not available here. So now we're going to move over this way. So again, if this is my natural, let's move over one diamond and shoot at this diamond here. Okay? If we shoot at this diamond, now instead of using center ball, now watch where center will go. If I use center ball, the cue ball should come back basically to the center of the table down here, right where this 11 is. So we come right back at the 11 using center ball. Now, remember this is my natural. If I come a diamond to the right, that means I need a diamond a tip of left English to bring me over here. So let's shoot that now. Always make sure you're chalking up when you're using um, spin. If you're hitting center ball, you're not going to miss cue, but as soon as you use spin, you're going to get into trouble. So, I'm going to be just above center ball. 
and I'm going to be one tip to the left. And we're going to stroke that. And we're going to come over and we're going to kick the ball. Okay? It is that simple. If you're using reverse spin, you're going to have to hit a little harder because the cue ball needs to dig into that rail and pull that shot back. If you're using natural spin, and what I mean by natural spin is, um, it's actually called uh, forward momentum. So if you're using running English as well, they will call it, you're using running English. What running English means is if you're going in on an angle and you're allowing the cue ball to flow back in that same direction, that's called your running English. So when I just shot that shot and I knew my cue ball was going back to the left, that's running English. I had left spin on the cue ball, one tip. When I shot over here, I was using reverse English and I needed one tip of right English. So I have to hit that a little harder because it needs to grip and pull itself back. So that's uh, shot number one for this video and uh, I'll be right back with the next one. Okay, we're back for the second shot. Second shot is going to be, um, here's my cue ball, here's my object ball, here's a blocker. The natural shot is basically half the distance between them, which we know. So, here's my zero, here is my first diamond away, my second diamond away, so I'm two diamonds away in distance. Now, if you guys haven't watched my uh, first two videos on kick shots, definitely have a look at that, because that'll make this... Uh, this will all make a lot more sense to you. Um, this is my zero. I'm two diamonds away, so let's count over on my short rail two diamonds. One, two. So there's my natural, okay? So I'm going to stroke this ball just above center with no spin. Cue ball should come back and pot my object ball in the side pocket. Okay. Any of us can make that shot. Any of us can measure that shot. As long as you hit center ball and you know where to aim, you're going to make that shot. Now, what happens when you've got trouble? Okay, I'm gonna, okay. there's my natural. I no longer have my natural one bank. Okay, if you look down towards this way on the table, there is a two bank opportunity, but just say for this video, I've got a blocker there too. There's another object ball in my way. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to now come and figure out how to kick off that rail using spin with running English and with reverse. I'm going to show you both. Remember this being our zero. Okay, I'm two diamonds away. I move over one diamond and if I move over one diamond and then two diamond that shows me my natural. If I have to move back because I'm blocked, I move back one to the left, that means I'm going to put one tip of right English on that contact point. So we'll shoot that for you now. And basically what's that doing? Here's my natural, which we just shot. If I come back a diamond to the left, that means I gotta put a diamond of the opposite English on the cue ball, which in this would be right. So I get my cue level as I can with the table. Kind of resting my cue on the rail for this shot. I'm gonna be just above center on the cue ball, and I'm gonna move over my one tip to the right. Okay, came a little shy. Let's do her again. Same shot, just a little more spin. Okay, practice makes perfect. Nothing in my videos is going to be uh, edited uh, to make it look like I can't miss because I miss just like the best of you. Um, it all comes down to practice. So that was using running English with one tip Okay, now we're going to get into, what if you don't have the running English available to you? What if you got another blocker here, and you've got another blocker here, okay? So now you don't have any realistic shots of going into that rail and coming back with running English. If this is my natural to get me to make my contact, I'm going to have to move over one increment or diamond to the right. If I move over one diamond to the right, that means I'm going to have to move over one tip of English to the left on the cue ball. So I still have my line, which is here. Now, also from my first video, or my first kick shot videos, if you watch Part B, 
um, my cue ball right now is not directly underneath my cue. So I'm going to have to parallel shift on this angle, which I already have. I'm going to move over so I'm in line. So now I'm in line. Now I've got my exact contact point on the rail here, right over my cue ball. Okay? And I know I'm going to use one tip of left English because I'm one increment or diamond to the right of where I would shoot naturally to sink this ball. So I'm going to shoot that shot now. I know where I'm going to hit. I'm going to be just above center, go to half tip, left, one tip, and whenever you use reverse spin, you're going to hit with a little more force just so that cue ball grips when it hits that cushion. And you make your shot. So those are, those are the two shots using the half of the table. Now, it doesn't matter how you're set up. If your cue ball is over here, okay, the shots still work. If I'm one, two, three diamonds away, you're still going to line up, find your zero, one, two, there's your natural, right? And you're going to make it work. If you got to go to the right, you got to compensate with left spin for every diamond. If you have to move your location to the left for your contact point on the rail, then you're going to have to compensate with right spin if the natural is not available. So that's that shot. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you one that's uh, that I really like to shoot. Okay guys, here's a shot that I really like to shoot and it does come up uh, quite a bit uh, when you're playing. Uh, what I'm going to show you right now is how to use spin uh, to make some pretty trick to make this pretty tricky shot and it can be tricky. You're going to try this and you may fail more times than you actually make it. But you make it one time and you're going to love it. So, um, I'm going to basically take you through the shot right now. Right now on the table, we've got an object ball that is sitting in, in or above the corner pocket, like just uh, in the jaws here, okay? We've got the cue ball here blocked by the 14 ball, okay? We don't have a straight on shot to the object ball. We also don't have a kick shot this way because there's not enough room behind the 14 and the rail to put that in. I don't have a one rail this way because I have an object ball blocking me. I don't have uh, two kicks in the corner off the end rail, side rail, and back to make the shot. And this per se is my eight ball. This is my oak. These are all my opponent's balls. Um, if I miss, I could get run out. That's basically how I'm looking at this. So how do I make this shot? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to carry them. The, you're going to play the cue ball off of the rail right here, and you're going to play the cue ball with right spin. The right spin won't actually take when it hits this rail. The right spin will actually just make the cue ball skid down to that end rail. And when the cue ball hits that end rail, the uh, right spin is that's reverse spin because now the cue ball is going this way. The right spin will actually hit that rail and send that cue ball right back down here, potting this object ball, right? Or making contact, you're not going to foul. Now again, the level of difficulty on this shot can be uh, very difficult. Um, but again, I say right English, I'm not going to say how much, like I use about uh, one, to two, one and a half to two tips on this shot, but that's based on my tip my cue and how my cue hits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the camera angle here just so you can see it at table level and I'm going to shoot that shot for you. Okay, back to shoot the shot now. We've got the camera set up where it needs to be. I'm going to aim at the rail as I described earlier. I'm going to use right English. It's going to skid me down to that rail. Right English takes the effect of it banking off true. It actually holds a little tighter. So it instead of it going down this path, it'll actually go down towards that end rail, closer to the pocket. So I'm going to get down there and I'm going to get set. I'm going to aim at my center ball. I'm going to aim at my contact point on my rail. I'm going to go up a half tip and I'm going to go to the right. Now it will vary depending on the angle you're hitting the rail on, where your cue ball is placed. If it's greater or less, you're going to have to change how much uh, spin you use and how hard you hit the cue ball. But just set it up how I've got it set up. And I'm going to use between one and one and a half tips, maybe even two tips depending on how it works here. I might have to shoot it more than once. And look at that. 
first try. Hit it so good I scratched. Hit it dead on. Now that doesn't happen often, of course, but uh, when it does happen, it feels pretty good. Um, that's a great shot. You can do it the long way. You can do it the short way. You can shoot off the end cushion here, hit that rail, and come back and make your shot. It's just a great shot, and uh, I'll be right back, and I'm just going to show you one more uh, little trick shot, and uh, then I'll end this video for you. Okay, for this next shot, um, just, say, just say you're playing a game of nine ball. And say that uh, you got an object ball here, the four ball. And uh, say that uh, you want, you, you don't really have a decent shot, okay? Say that for some reason uh, uh, you don't have a good safety. And uh, just say you're not confident on cutting that ball down the rail because say you've been playing that table all day and that table's just not playing right. Uh, the cut can be made, no problem. But the fact is you're not confident in it. Let's use a little bit of spin and see what happens. Um, I'm going to play extreme top on this cue ball. And instead of hitting here to cut the ball in, I am actually going to hit that cue ball almost dead on. Uh, uh, sorry, the four ball almost dead on with the cue ball. What's going to happen is that cue ball is going to shoot straight up at that nine ball. And that four ball is going to kick right out of the way. So let's shoot that for you now. We're going to go extreme tops. We're going to hit her good. And uh, we're going to get down to that nine ball. Right down to the nine. That's a fabulous shot. You, uh, and it's not hard. Extreme tops, no lefts, no rights. As long as you hit that four ball in the right spot, your cue ball is going to sail right down that rail. And it's going to, it's not, the cue ball is not touching the rail, so it's not going to be pushed off on contact. That cue ball has just got a deadline to shoot her in. So, I hope you enjoyed those shots, guys. They will come up in your games, and uh, you use the system, they will work. Uh, I'm Heath Manning of Manning Cues. Please let me know if you like my videos, if uh, you want to see anything more, uh, or if you want, uh, I'm available for Skype. We can do shots right here in my pool room over the internet. And I also buy and sell uh, equipment, training, anything you need with billiards. I'm truly passionate about it. So uh, please take the time, let me know what you think, and I'll be sure to uh, keep making these videos. Thanks, guys.